Today in lesson 24, we learned about the most famous ratio or rate, which is a percentage. Okay, percent, okay, are exactly what they mean. Percent is per 100. So there's 100 cents in a dollar, okay? So the students looked at percentages and they had to take percentages change them to ratios, which is what we've been working on in this unit, as fractions, and then we're introducing a new key player, the decimal, okay? 6% is really comparing the number 6 to 100. As a fraction, they can write 6 100s, but I would like to encourage the kids to start thinking about simplifying their percents, and that would be 3 to 50. And as a decimal, I've been asking the kids to think about 6 out of 100, or 6%, or 6 cents. How would you write that in terms of money? And 6 cents really looks like this, this being the tenths place, this being the one hundredths place value, 6 one hundredths. This one, 60%, is comparing the number 60 to 100. As a fraction, that's 60 one hundredths. When the zeros line up, you can cross them out. So it's the same as dividing the numerator and denominator by 10. I'm going to divide these both by 2 again. As a simplified fraction, that's 3 fifths. And 60% or 60 cents would be written like this. Okay, this one's a tricky one for the kids. 60%, that's, or I'm sorry, 600%. That's taking the number 600 and you're still comparing it to 100. As a fraction, the kids can see that this is a fraction whose numerator is larger than the denominator. The zeros can line up, that's dividing the top and the bottom by 10. Another zero line up, that's dividing the top and the bottom by 100. As a simplified fraction, this is 6 firsts or 6 over 1. And I have encouraged the kids in class to start thinking of, okay, how many, how much, how much money is 600 cents? 100 cents is a dollar, so 600 cents would be six dollars. Okay, and then today in class, the table changed it up. They didn't give you the percentage anymore, they gave you the ratio, and you had to kind of work backwards in your thinking. 32 one hundredths is 32 percent. 32 one hundredths as a simplified fraction. These are both divisible by 4, which would give you 8 25ths. And 32% or 32 cents is written like this. This part of the table gave us our decimal, which is 55 one hundredths. And I'm going to divide both of those by 5 to get 1 11 20th. Ratio. I'm going to start with the percentage. This is 55 one hundredths, or 55 percent. And you're taking the number 55, and you're comparing it to 100. This time they gave us a fraction. Well, let's use labeled equal fractions here, okay? We made that a percentage, times 10 times 10. Okay, it's 90 out of 100, or 90 percent. The ratio is comparing 90 to 100. And 90% or 90 cents is a decimal is written like that. And that's a preview of kind of what we did today in lesson 24 on percents.